Hey, good morning, guys. Um, YouTube is just very quickly another quick video. I don't like making these things long. I just think it's a pain in the ass. Let's just go through very quickly what it is that I've been doing. Um, I did have a chat, my last one, well, last, but the video that I did was about what was in uh, my little case here about the drivers, um, and that was going to drive my CNC milling machine, which I converted. Converted one of these. Oh, I don't even know what they what they call them, but they the desktop uh, drill mill. And they, this is the round, round colored one uh, that's over there. And I must be honest, it's okay. It's not brilliant. Um, would I convert to another one? It was the easy, easy conversion, I think, uh, if you ask for, for what I did. Um, I have here three is to one uh, ratios on my motors. Um, these motors are, I can't remember what, how many ounces they are, but I think they're like 480 ounce. Um, and obviously they're three is to one or 600, something like that um and then so i, I mounted this and uh, i got them i just made it oh i mean that's not pretty but it works like a bomb it just knocked in there i've drilled holes through um the same here i made my little i made little off off stands here for the motors i made brackets on the side it's a really easy uh, conversion and it's pretty accurate the one thing that isn't very accurate is the z and that's obviously because what i'm using is the mechanical components so a lot of people never show you how they do the z so let me do that so fuck it if you have a machine like this that you can do it yourself right so let's just go through here what i've taken is a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of 90 degree angle line or not, yeah 90 degree angle line i just cut it a little bit short there i bolted it on drilled holes into the side of the of the machine there's quite a thick wall here to do it and then what I've done is, is on the same, I've actually only mounted this uh, on the two screws. But as you can see, that ain't going anywhere. And then I've just got a drive ratio 3 to 1. The belt's very, very loose. Um, but what I might do is just move it up a bit. And then, in actual fact, I just need to get that out the way as well. Um, the little screw at some point. Um, but what I'm using is effectively all the, the internal components that this comes with. And it's not very accurate. It's actually quite crap, to be quite honest. What I've done is I have added a little adapter plate, which I actually used the machine to cut out um, around here so that I could put a high speed um, for a little bit of um, engraving. But I found that's not going to work so well due to the fact that the Z is just not as accurate as I'd like it to be. So and when I say it's not as accurate, it's um, so it's one tenth of a mil. Um, it could vary by and obviously you adjust it and on that particular place and point it's perfect but as soon as it goes up and down here it sort of starts changing up and down either negative or positive um, but the x and y is really really accurate um, with the backlash and obviously i'm using mac 3 well, obviously i'm using mac 3 um, but it works very well it does all the good things that i wanted to do i have done a few items on it um, i'm just trying to find this so what I did do is I did this for a friend of mine. I just uh, he did some engraving, and as you can see, the engraving actually came out very, very well. There's no issues with it at all. So you know I can't really complain. It doesn't not work. It works pretty well. Um, what I am doing for wood, however, is I'm making a bigger uh, table so that I can put a, a meter and a plus a meter size um, by 900 wide. So. From South Africa, I don't talk in inches, I talk in millimeters and meters. And there's the rails and that for it. So I'm going to be building that. That hopefully will be done in the next uh, two weeks. And then I can do a review on that as well for you guys. So that's it. Um, I obviously now need to build another case um, for the new machine that's coming. I'm thinking about doing it slightly differently. I've got, it's a bit of a pig's mess. Unfortunately, it, just ta it takes a lot, a lot of wires for these things to work. Um, what I've got here is... A smooth stepper, which um, I really, really advise if you guys are going to um, be doing CNC stuff and you want it just a little bit smoother and more accurate, I would definitely advise getting one of those. What I've done is I've just mounted it with foam underneath on a piece of um, wood just so that I can put it down. Um, I don't really have a great place to mount it in here at the moment, so I'm actually thinking maybe just scrapping this whole thing and doing a much bigger uh, box for it um so that's it i think guys if there's any questions just pop them on the bottom of the channel i don't really look at it very often but i will get back to you okay thanks guys cheers bye